you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today I'm going to be going over the most overpowered, overrated players in the game. So yesterday, I did the most overpowered players in the game, and that video did very well. You guys seem to have loved that. Like I said, I went over a few guys that I really think that just really were game-changing this year. And I specifically did three cards, because if you know this year, it's three cards for three X-Factors and abilities on each side of the ball. So I kept it kind of like in a similar stance that you can only pick three per. And I also give you guys some budget beasts. So today... I'll be giving you guys the most overrated, overpowered cards. There's going to be more in this video because I specifically have found a lot of cards that I just don't like the stats. Like, I've even used them. I'm really just not feeling them. And if they have a better option, I will give you a better, cheaper budget option in place of them. Now, guys, if you guys haven't already, make sure to go down below and smack the sub button. Guys, guys, boys, we gained 500 subscribers yesterday. I hit 3K yesterday. We hit 500. That is crazy. Thank you guys so much. Like, I, I've never... I, that's my best day on YouTube ever. We gained, like, 20,000. Like, I don't know what it was like. Thir we have, like, 25,000 views in a 40-hour period. Like, that was just a crazy day yesterday. If you guys are new, let's get to 4K tonight. I think you guys can handle that. We gained 500 yesterday. Let's hit 4K subscribers tonight. Everyone right now, go down below. Everyone watching this video, smack the sub button. Turn on the noti bell to get notified every time I post. Also, comment down below if you guys agree with my overrated players in this video. Also, guys... Don't forget to like the video. Let's get 100 likes. And boys, before you go open packs, go down below, hit up my sponsor, and use code Poodle for 20% off. The code's been boosted up to 20% off now because of the, how well we've been doing, guys. So don't waste money on packs. Go buy some coins. They're safe. I promise. I, I back them with my word. But guys, let's get into this video now. So I'm going to start off. I'm going to do a reverse. Sometimes I like to start from 81 and up, but like it's hard to say an 81 overall player is overrated. They're clearly not. Overrated is more of the higher guys. So... Let's start at the 90 overalls. How many overrated guys are there? Not many, but I'm gonna go with a few. So you guys look, we got Elway, Brooks, Rice, White. I'm not gonna go through the limited times. So I really find those cards irrelevant when it comes to in terms of playing games. So at the moment, I feel like Derek Brooks is slightly overrated. Why? Because he's kind of like he's kind of like a zone linebacker that I really don't feel is all that good. So let's go to his zone card. His zone coverage is only an 82. So an 82 zone, an 81 speed, and 90 tackle, 89 play rec. At that point, I'd rather put a linebacker in the box. And it's just the price, 250K. I'd rather have Jadavion Clowney power up pass and have him as a rusher before I go put Derek Brooks as a zone. Especially this year, with how bad zones can be right now. It's just like right now with the way the game plays, I don't think Derek Brooks is should be worth 256K. Zones are kind of bad. He's just a, a, a decently athletic, decently okay zone corner, uh, zone linebacker. I'd much rather have Clowney or a bunch of other guys in that position. Now, the other ones, Elway and all of them are really, really good. I'm not going to knock them. I've used them personally. I really like them. Now, coming over here. If you guys go all the way down, a few guys I think might be overrated. Uh, I don't want to say... Okay, so Bobby Wagner. I initially said he was overrated. But he does play. I just want. I, this is a quick disclaimer. It doesn't include the video. He is very good. I used to say he was overrated. I have him. He's a beast. He's a monster. He's a little bit on the slower side, but he definitely is a monster. I take nothing against him. Now, a guy that I think is overrated, in my personal, personal opinion, guys, if you're an Eagles fan, don't hate on me right now. Zach Ertz. Now, for his price. So his basically card at a 74 speed. I used him. He had a great catching, but he's so slow that anyone with a user and half a brain can just stay on him walking backwards. And I couldn't stand it anymore. So he catches the ball, he can't break loose. And this year with the way wiggle sticks are, the way the way wiggle sticks are this year, you want to have a player that can that, that has a little bit of wiggle on him, like a George Kittle. You want that, because that is that is how you play the game this year. You get people into space and you, you use the wiggle sticks, you run past, you juke. And he's just not the move. This one's kind of amazing stats wise. But 250k for a 78 speed player. On offense, I'm gonna have to pass on that one. If it comes down to like 150, he's definitely a snag, but not right now. Now, here's where a lot of the overrated players come, in my opinion. So, the flashbacks I haven't had time to review yet, but they're very cheap, so I'm not gonna call any of them overrated yet. But it's more about the price versus what they can do. So, in my opinion, guys, don't kill me. Ezekiel Elliott's overrated. Not in real life, top three running back in real life, maybe even top two, but in the game, overrated. Why? He's 80,000 coins. Okay, you guys might think, like, what's wrong with that? He only has an 81 speed. You know how many running backs are faster than that? Okay, well, he's Zeke, so he probably has a good carrying to offset the speed. No, 79 carrying. 
Okay, well, he probably has good catching then. 66 catching. Well, his elusiveness and truck have to be 77. He has 70 stats across the board, 60s. His excel slow is like his speed slow. His break tackle and agility are slow. You know who's a better option, guys? Just be real with you right now. If you don't have Marcus Allen, right? If you don't have Marcus Allen, the GOAT running back in this game, don't get Gurley, don't get Zeke. Just get Saquon Barkley. I promise you. Or Phillip Lindsay. I promise you, these are the two best... In this order, these are the three best running backs in the game. Marcus Allen, Phillip Lindsay, Saquon Barkley. Look at Saquon compared to Zeke. What does Zeke beat him in? Plus one elusiveness and plus five truck, but it's threshold, so they're both in the 70s. He is faster. He's stronger. He's more. He can excel better. He has better agility. Way better carrying. Better catching. Better break tackle. Does it not speak for itself? Do I have to keep going on? Ezekiel Elliott and Todd Gurley are overrated. Todd Gurley isn't as bad only because he's going to get a new superstar card soon and his speed's the same. But price wise, when I spent 140k on Todd Gurley versus 25k on Saquon Barkley, no. And if you get your level pack, he's free at level 20. And then Phil Lindsay, he might have been able to truck his good. Look at his speed. He's literally insane. He's not touchable. And he comes in with built in abilities. Give me Lindsay at for free out of my dollar, well, my dollar 50 pack. Or give me Saquon out of my dollar 50 pack or buy them for 25k each. No chance in hell. Zeke Elliott is highly overrated in this game. And to add on top of that, in my opinion, David Bakhtiari is overrated. I said it. David Bakhtiari is an overrated left tackle. And I. When I first was going to buy this card, he was like 70k, so take in mind what I'm about to say is a little different. He was 70k, and I thought he was overrated. Trent Williams was 50k, and I was like, I don't care about overalls. Look at Trent Williams compared to him. Beats him in strength. Basically, even in pass blocking, he slightly gets beaten in pass blocking and uh, pass blocking footwork, whatever it is, finesse, I forgot what it's called. But look at the run blocking. He can pass and run block. He's not a liability anywhere. He's a solid blindside type of guy. David Bakhtiari can only pass block. You run, he's going to get destroyed. And he was 20k cheaper. In my opinion, David Bakhtiari is overrated for his price and being at an 87 overall. Like I said, tight ends right now, I believe Travis Kelsey is kind of overrated. In my opinion, the best tight end in the game is powered up, theme builder, past George Kittle. Best, best tight end in the game. His patching stats aren't even that good. They're not even that good. If you don't think that I take this George Kittle over him, you're wrong. His pass, he's faster. He can catch better, or slightly. He's better, and he can run block. Chelsea can't run block. He can barely catch, and he's slow as hell. In my opinion, overrated. Makes the overrated list. Like, it's just, I had him. I personally used him, and I hated him. I love Kelsey card, but not this one. Now, there's one more guy left in here. I told you how girly was an honorable mention, but he's not really overrated. It's just compared to Saquon Barkley. Now... The last guy over here that I would probably say is overrated. Hmm, I don't really want to say that guy's overrated. That's about it. I mean, I kind of covered these. I covered these. I mean, Richard Sherman, I want to say, but I don't want... It's, okay, his coverage stats are amazing, right? Amazing. I don't I don't doubt that. But you compare him to Jalen Ramsey, right? They're very close in coverage stats, but Jalen Ramsey a lot faster. You know what the difference is? Jalen Ramsey still gets burnt, and he has an 84 speed. So can you imagine Sherman? This is a game of wiggle sticks and speed right now. Sherman's gonna get cooked. I, I'm just a quick little just letting you guys know. I think Sherman's overrated. You can there's better places to go with the coins. I'd rather have Byron Jones or I'd rather have Byron Jones. That's it. That's just like flat out. I said it. That's it. I have him. I use him. I love him. Just giving you guys quick opinions here. Now here, it's hard to say guys are overrated here. It's too low of overall to really say they're overrated. I mean, if they were overrated, they wouldn't be an 84. Yeah, I don't really have anyone on my list here. I, I did say Zach Ertz, and then probably about it. I mean, I like Eddie Jackson in real life, but he's kind of overrated. Considering they gave him a speed, they gave him a low speed. So like for his price, I probably wouldn't pay it. It's a lot of the guys that probably take. It's not, and by the way, when I said they're overrated. I don't mean they're overrated in real life. I mean they're overrated. Their their car, their card stats for the price are overrated. Like you can get a lot better. And Le'Veon Bell, his stats are garbage. I'm sorry, but again, for more than less than half the price. Look at Saquon. Speaks for itself. Do I have to say anything? Beats him everywhere besides trucking. And Le'Veon Bell's not even a trucking back like that. Like, he, yeah, he can truck, but, like, his card stats truck isn't good enough to justify. Like, if he had a 95 truck, okay, maybe it would make sense, but no, he's an 81. I'll pass. Sorry. I'm not taking that. Doesn't make sense to me. Guys, Saquon Barkley and Phillip Lindsay are probably the best two running backs in the game besides Marcus Allen, in my opinion, when it comes to price 
and potential. Like, you put those together, it's just a no-brainer. But guys, that is about it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I gave you guys all my top overrated players in the game. Those are players that I recommend that you stay away from. You're going to be wasting your coins. They won't. Re it's like ROI, return on investment. I don't think they return enough profit or investment to your team to be worth actually putting on your roster. There's a lot better option, guys. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have been enjoying the content. If you did, smash the like button. Let's get 150 likes in this video, guys. I know you guys can do it because you've been killing the like button. Make sure to comment down below. If you guys want to argue with me, argue with me down below. Comment who I said wrong. Comment down below who I missed. Maybe there were some more players that needed to be on that list and I missed them. But guys, that's about it. If you guys already haven't, go down below, smash the sub button. We're aiming for 4K by tonight, by tomorrow morning. I think you guys can do it. I really do. You guys shocked me yesterday. And turn on the noti bell to be notified every time I post a brand new video. I'm out, guys. See you later. Peace.